Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, about a year ago, Sony released the WF-1000XM4s, which is their premium true wireless earbuds. And then about a year later, they came out with these, the Link Buds S. Now, the Link Buds S have a lot more in common with the 1000XM4s than they do with the original Link Buds. And so, in today's video, I figured we'd go back and forth and compare these two premium Sony wireless earbuds and see which one is right for you. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of this video as we'll actually be listening to the real sound coming through these earbuds so you can hear the differences in sound quality between them. As I said in the intro, these two sets of earbuds have a lot in common. So much so that I think the best way to go about this comparison is to actually quickly go over all the features and specifications these two share so we can spend the bulk of the video focusing on their differences. So here's what's the same. Both of these earbuds feature Bluetooth version 5.2, and in my experience, connection quality has been equally good on both. They're also both IPX4 certified, which means they're splash proof, but not submergible. So they'll work for working out or in the rain, but maybe don't try swimming with them. They both support the SBC, AAC, and LDAC codecs, but importantly, you won't be able to take advantage of the higher quality LDAC codec without a music app that supports it, such as Tidal. They both feature active noise cancellation and ambient sound mode, although we'll cover the quality of both of those once we start getting into the differences. And lastly, they both support Sony's Speak to Chat, which is the function that detects when you start talking and automatically switches the earbuds to an ambient mode and pauses your music for up to 15 seconds. All right, that covers the similarities, so let's start diving into the biggest differences between these two sets of earbuds so you can start to figure out which one is best for you. We'll start with size, weight, and overall design. From a design perspective, the Link Buds S have clearly taken great inspiration from their older and more expensive cousins here. They're a similar shape, although the Link Buds S are a little more subtle and muted in their aesthetic and material choice. The XM4s are offered in two colors, black and silver, while the Link Buds S are offered in black, white, and desert sand. I have the black colorways for each set here, and while they both have a matte finish, the Link Buds actually have a bit of texture on both the earbuds themselves, as well as the matching charging case. While both designs are nice, I actually prefer the extra bit of grippiness that the Link Buds S offer, which gives you a little bit more confidence when you're taking them on and off, that you're not actually gonna spill them out onto whatever ground you're walking on. That brings us to what I think is one of the most compelling and immediately obvious differences between these two earbuds, which is the size and weight. As you can see here, the charging case is a bit smaller in all dimensions for the Link Buds, which makes them a lot more pocketable, although the grippy texture may make it a little more challenging to slip in and out of small pockets. The size of the earbuds themselves is an even more significant change. The Link Buds S are actually 32% lighter than their flagship counterparts and smaller in every dimension. This segues nicely to our next section of comfort and fit. This is admittedly a very subjective comparison, but personally I found the Link Buds S to be significantly more comfortable to wear for both short and long stretches. This starts with the tips provided, which is another big difference. The XM4s included four different size ear tips made of foam with silicone coating. In the past, I've enjoyed the comfort and improved seal of foam tips from other brands like Shure, but I've not been able to get a good seal in my left ear with the included tips. And even if I take the time to really fight them in there, they're very uncomfortable. Conversely, I had no such issues with the more standard silicone tips that are included with the Link Buds S. And fortunately, both of these ear tips are interchangeable and usable on either model. So for the rest of my testing, I used the medium sized ear tips from the Link Buds on both models, which worked out very well. It's important to note that it's very easy to find replaceable ear tips for basically any model of earbud online. So this is by no means a deal breaker. Just take your time and figure out what fits best for you. Outside of just the ear tips, the heavier weight and overall bulkiness of the XM4 started to cause me some ear fatigue and discomfort after only about an hour. And I couldn't really keep myself wearing them after about three hours. On the other end of the spectrum, I found the Link Buds to be very comfortable and I was able to easily go three or more hours with only minor ear fatigue as the hours grew. I can't understate this difference. If you're somebody who only wears earbuds for short stints, like on your morning commute or while exercising, then you'll probably be fine with the XM4s. However, if you're someone who wants something you can wear all day or on long flights, the Link Buds S become the obvious choice. Going along with the size, I prefer smaller and more subtle earbuds when I'm wearing them in public. So again, the Link Buds excel in comparison to the XM4s in this area, providing a much slimmer profile when being worn, making them less obvious. On that note though, because of the smaller size, you do sacrifice battery life. While the XM4s max out at, I think, eight hours of battery life with another 16 hours of charge in the included case, the Link Buds give you only six hours plus another 14 hours in the case. While this is a fine trade-off for me, you may have different needs. Also, turning off ANC and ambient modes will improve the battery life of both sets of earbuds. Now on that same note about battery life, it's important to note that the XM4s do support wireless charging for their case, while the Link Buds S do not. 
Those sound clips, I promise, are coming up soon, but first, let's talk about active noise cancellation and the ambient sound mode. There's not a lot to say here because both features work similarly on each set of earbuds, and they work very, very well. That said, I will say the ANC on the XM4s is just a little bit stronger and more effective than the Link Buds. Similarly, the ambient sound mode is good on both, providing the outside world in. It's very close, but again, I would have to say the XM4s do a little better job of providing a more transparent experience. With the ambient sound mode on when the level set to around 15 in the app, it honestly sounds like I'm not even wearing earbuds, which is seriously impressive. The Link Buds S, on the other hand, were less transparent, offering a sound that's a little bit more tilted towards the high end. Either one will do a good job of keeping you safe while you're out and about and allowing you to hear voices clearly during conversations. In my experience, the sound of my own voice in my own head actually felt a little more natural with the Link Buds over the XM4s, but again, the difference here is pretty subtle. Now, before we talk about the all-important sound quality, let's quickly do a microphone comparison of each set of earbuds. First, in a challenging, noisy outdoor environment, and then we'll test again in a controlled home environment. All right, so I'm out here on a busy street and currently you're listening to the camera audio, but next we're going to switch over to the Sony XM4. So now you're listening to the XM4's built-in microphone and we're gonna listen to how the background noise is dissipated by these earbuds and how well they isolate for my voice as I'm speaking and recording through them and I'll sync up this audio in post. So this is the Link Buds S out here on a relatively busy street. We've got cars going on here behind me. So let's listen for how well these earbuds isolate from my voice and reject the background noise going on behind me. All right, so now we are back on the XM4s and we are inside in kind of my studio environment. Got some sound treatment here. It's very quiet uh, with no other ambient sounds. So it's kind of the best case scenario for the microphone. And let's listen to this and now switch over to the Link Buds S. And lastly, here we are back on the Link Buds S in the quiet studio environment. So you can hear kind of the best case scenario for these microphones as well. If you're using them at home for video conferencing, that type of thing, this is what you can expect. All right, so the win here clearly goes to the XM4s. While both options sounded pretty similar indoors in the controlled environment, the XM4s are doing a significantly better job of keeping our voice sounding pretty good, even with a lot of background noise going on outdoors. The Link Buds microphone quality in that outdoor sample is honestly pretty bad. It's really aggressive at canceling out the traffic noise that you heard there, which really affects the voice quality. It'd work in a pinch, but if taking phone calls in crowded or noisy areas is important for you, I think the choice is pretty obvious. All right, now it's finally time to listen to these earbuds and hear what they actually sound like. I'm recording this a little bit later because I realized the first time I recorded this little headshot, I didn't do a great job of explaining exactly what my process was here. So I've got this little mini DSP ears uh, dummy head with these little ears in there and there are microphones inside here. So when we take an earbud and we put it inside the head, just like as if it was your head, we can record the output via USB. Now, the disclaimer here is that this product is made mostly for uh, testing and referencing uh, like overall sound dynamics and like the frequency range and things like that, frequency response of headphones and not necessarily like a binaural recording uh, output. So this is not necessarily the perfect be all end all recording of what these sound like. There's also differences between everyone's ears. So the way it sounds inside of this head uh, sounds different than inside my head, sounds different inside of your head. So what I want you to take away from this next test is mostly just the difference that you're hearing between the two, as opposed to again, the be all end all of that's exactly what these sound like. Now, it's very, very important that you wear headphones or a good set of speakers to listen to these sound clips or you're not gonna hear any difference. So. Uh, without further ado, what you're gonna hear is first, I'm gonna do a few songs, and we're gonna play the sample track first, then you're gonna be listening to the sound coming from the Link Buds S, then you'll be listening to the same sound coming from the XM4s. So let's get right into it.
Hopefully you found that test informative. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you can scroll down and give this video a thumbs up. It does a lot to support the channel, so thank you. Here's my opinion on the sound quality between these two sets of earbuds. The XM4s are better, for sure. Sony has tuned these headphones out of the box to be a little more classic V shape, which creates a bass heavy experience with the mids kind of being scooped out. They're very far from neutral, so if you're looking for a set of clinical earbuds, these are not those, neither one. But we can get both sets to be much closer to neutral, which is my preference, by using Sony's headphones app to set a custom EQ to bring the mids back out on both headphones. From my experience, the XM4s needed a little less EQ to get them sounding as best I could, while the Link Buds needed some pretty aggressive tone shaping to bring them to life. Sony typically does an amazing job with bass, and both sets pack a seriously impressive punch in the low end. The sound is thick, but detailed. I hear excellent note definition in the low end, even in heavily distorted rock music, so there's no complaints here. The mids to me is where the XM4s stand out above the Link Buds. They're much more present in the low mids specifically. The custom EQ in the Link Buds helps bring them closer in line, but I had a hard time getting the mids to be neutral, so there's still something a bit off and harsh in the mids. That's just a little unpleasant when pushed. Now, I'm mostly hearing this in things like toms and the drums and heavier guitar tones, but even in something like solo piano music, I find the XM4s just do a better job of giving weight to this area that's warm, natural, and pleasing when compared to the Link Buds. The high end of each of these is pretty comparable, providing plenty of treble detail and excitement without being too harsh. Sony did a good job of setting their EQ curves in the app so that even at the most extreme settings, you're not necessarily at risk of creating any uncomfortable piercing sounds, which is great if you don't have a lot of experience EQing audio. Imaging on both these earbuds is similarly great. I'm able to clearly place instruments in the mix and nothing is getting smeary or buried. And while you won't ever really get a wide sound stage for in-ears just due to the physics of them being shoved inside your head, stereo separation is good and on par with other earbuds in this budget range. So overall, while I do think the XM4s outshine the smaller Link Buds, I can't overstate that I'm seriously impressed with both pairs of earbuds. And with the custom EQ settings applied to both, I feel like the Link Buds are within 5% or so of the sound quality of the XM4s, which is a pleasant surprise. I honestly don't think Sony did themselves any favors when tuning the Link Buds, as I've seen a lot of complaints specifically about audio quality being dull and unexciting in these, but they honestly sound great with just a few minutes of tweaking. If you're interested in my custom EQ settings for both sets of earbuds, I'll put those in the description below. All right, so conclusion time. The WF-1000 XM4s and the Link Buds S are very similar earbuds in terms of specs and features. You get a little more creature comforts with the XM4s, such as wireless charging, longer battery life, and they do stand above the Link Buds in the audio categories, including active noise canceling, microphone quality, and overall sound quality. That said, and we haven't even mentioned price yet, but the Link Buds are about $100 cheaper right now, and they're significantly smaller and more comfortable. And with a little tweaking in the EQ section, sound really great in their own right. If I had to choose a winner between these two, while it's extremely close, I would go with the Link Buds S. For my personal use case, I want the most comfortable set of earbuds that I can have that still give me all the modern smart features along with above average sound quality. And the Link Buds S hit all the marks. These are my new favorite earbuds and my current daily driver. Let me know in the comments below what other earbud comparisons you would like to see in the future. All right, that's it for this one. Subscribe below for more videos like this and we'll see you on the next one.